These are very easy to make, my friends. What you need are a pair of uh, ring pliers. You need a blade. Choose any blade you want. If you want a willow blade, use a willow blade. You want a hatchet blade, use a hatchet blade. You need some ring eyes. This is a number five Colorado blade, so I got number five rings. You need some barrel swivels. These are some triple barrel swivels that, I had, that I've had for several years now. We're just now getting to the last bits of them. You use whatever barrel swivel that you have, a treble hook, and this is a number two treble hook. I've not really always been a fan of treble hooks, but this is a six alt J hook. If you compare the size, the six alt J hook has the same gape as a number two treble hook. What that means for me is I can tie big flies or big lures on my vise with relatively small hooks and I have triple the number of hook points. Barrel swivel, blade, barrel swivel, and you're all connected with the rings and a hook. Now, For this kind of rig, some people don't even bother dressing the back hook. I will always dress the back hook because, or put some sort of something on there, even put night crawlers or something like that on there to, to trigger the fish to bite. You can use any colors you want. I have traditional yellow and white, I mean yellow and red. And then I have red, white, and gray, which is, these are split rings. They're like little mini small key rings. And so you split it here, load one swivel there, Add another split ring, then add your uh, swivel, I mean add your blade. The order doesn't matter because either way it's going to end up in the middle. Okay. The tricky thing now is that you need to make sure that the uh, concave, the part of the blade, is facing the eye of the hook. So the curved end portion, the spoon portion needs to be facing the eye of the hook, right? Or else you'll just have it all backward. Here. Okay. Now I dress the hook on the fly tying vise as you've seen me do many times. This is a very old rig. It, it's it's so common that I don't even I, I, I've I, I've I've heard it called different things. I've heard it a Colorado rig because you know, because people in Colorado have used it for trout. I've heard it called a uh, I thought I think I've heard it called the little quill. Uh, just because the guy who just didn't know what the name was and gave it his own name. And so I call it a thumper rig. Just simply, I'm naming it after the thumper swivel. If I had a hatchet, if I had a hatchet blade, I'd call it a hatchet rig. If I had a willow blade, I'd call it a willow rig or, or, or a flutter rig or something. Another trick to do, you can get a smaller blade and put on this back hook here and use that as your trigger tag. You can put a piece of pork rind back here as your trigger tag. Uh, this is almost a variation on a trolling spoon, except instead of a trolling spoon up front here in the, in the hook back here, you're putting a spinner up here instead of back there. This is one of the oldest lures known to mankind, really. Ah, here we go. We have a, this is far too big. Uh, this is a number four spinner, old, been left out, and but uh, you can actually if you had a, you could literally do that, guys. There you go. You could literally put a smaller spinner back there, and that will flutter just like a flutter spoon in the current, and that'll be spinning. There's your trigger tag to get the fish to bite, and that's the main thing that's attracting their attention. Just that by itself will catch fish. I prefer to dress it, but hey, my friends, go try this. Go try it. See if what you can catch, and let me know what you can. Uh, what, um, what, what kind of luck he had.